name is Hui Na Siu, author of Intensive Care for the Nurture Cell and creator of the Venus Evolution. Since a lot of my clients suffer from stress, I did a study a while ago on stress management. I wanted to find out their stress level, their stress coping strategies, and how effective their coping strategies are. I'd like to share with you the findings from my study. Now, to be honest with you, I wasn't surprised at all by the findings, but you might find this really interesting. So here we go. First of all, I asked them what kind of stress level they have on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the no stress at all and 10 being the most stressful. 60% of the participants say that their stress level is 6 or higher on a scale of 1 to 10. So this is pretty significant. Most people are stressed out and their stress level is pretty high. In terms of what kind of stress coping strategies they use, this comes as no surprise at all. I mean, what do you use to cope with stress? Most people say they, they read, they eat, they sleep, they um, exercise, go to yoga class, meditate, they play with your family, friends, their pets, and 30% of the people say that they watch TV, play video games, they go for retail therapy, you know, shop yourself happy, and they, um, they engage in other unhealthy coping behaviors. Um, drinking, smoking, gambling, doing drugs. Some people even throw a tantrum. Yes, grown-ups throw tantrums too. And it's not pretty what they do. <laughs> 40% say that they avoid the situation, they procrastinate and denial. <laughs> and interestingly, 61% say that they use self-help books or seminars for stress management. However, their stress always returns. Out of all the participants, 71% um, say that their stress coping strategies only works somewhat effective but only works temporarily and 13% say that their strategies are not only not effective but cause them more problems down the road. As you can imagine if your strategy is one of those unhealthy coping behaviors you could end up with more financial problems or more health problems down the road. So this comes as no surprise at all to me. As I've always said that conventional stress management strategies alone does not, have, does not work. And the reason is very simple. Imagine that you, you cut yourself and you got an infection from the cut. But all you do is slap on a band-aid and you didn't do anything about the infection. So you might feel temporarily feel good, oh, I have a band-aid on, but it actually doesn't take care of the problem. You could end up with a serious infection down the road and cause more problems. And this is exactly what most people do when it comes to stress. They only take care of the symptoms or they, you know, they get a massage, they, they do yoga class and they drink and they eat, they sleep. They, they get temporary relief, but since they didn't take care of the root cause of their stress, the underlying problems that caused their stress, their stress always returns. It's not a surprise at all. And also most people when they talk about stress, they only think about the external source of stress. You know, the financial problems, the job, the relationships, the traffic or the health issues. And of course these these problems all cause stress, but there's also internal cause of stress um, that people often are unaware of or they didn't deal with. And these internal forces are actually the root cause of most people's stress. And I call these forces the invisible chaos. 
And when you don't take care of the root cause of your stress, you only take care of the symptoms, or you only go for the temporary relief, your stress always returns. And that's, this is why I uh, made this uh, video e-course to help you learn the three-step um, process that I use to tame the invisible chaos so you can get long-term, long-lasting stress relief and inner peace. So stay tuned for the next video and I will share with you the three-step process and how you can stay calm and peaceful no matter what's going on around you. This is Quina Sue signing off. I will talk to you soon.